assuming that Judge Gorsuch is confirmed as a sitting justice, the makeup of the court will not really be materially different from the way it was when Justice Scalia was alive and sitting on the court. It will be a, a, a court that leans slightly to the, to the right, slightly conservative, but Justice Kennedy still will have the swing vote in many of these, in many cases. Judge Gorsuch, sitting on the Tenth Circuit, has decided uh, at least four cases involving the National Labor Relations Board where he has, has written the opinion. Uh, more often than not, uh, he has sided with, with the board, um, even where uh, that has been favorable to employees uh, and a labor union in one, in one case. His majority opinions have had no dissents. Uh, he has dissented uh, in some cases involving the National Labor Relations Board. In employment discrimination cases, I think it's fair to say that more often than not, he has sided with the employer. One hesitates to read anything special into that because all of his decisions in those cases are motivated by his views that statutes should be read literally according to their text, that it's not the duty of, or the responsibility of a judge to fill in gaps or interpret the law uh, in ways that uh, Congress might have intended but didn't write into the law. And so he is a, a literalist and he is not inclined to defer to the views of agencies like the NLRB uh, in many cases, although in some of his decided cases, he certainly has gone along with the NLRB's position. If the Democrats uh, pursue a course of revenge uh, for Merrick Garland's failed nomination and successfully block the nomination of Judge Gorsuch to be a justice on the Supreme Court, we will again be at the position where there are, will only be eight justices uh, and essentially we'll split four to four in some of the more controversial cases. And that means that the decisions of the lower courts will be constructively affirmed where the Supreme Court can't reach a majority decision. And of course, all that will be pending uh, yet another nomination by President Trump.